Word of mouth is a democracy, baby. You don't have to be a super cool, neato, hip company to get your customers to tell your story. In fact, some of the best word of mouth examples in the world are from companies that are pretty straightforward. Consumers, they don't expect much from these kind of companies. So when they make just one choice, just one unconventional choice, and they adopt a talk trigger, the results can be spectacular. Customers never see it coming. And today, I'll tell you the story of how CVS Pharmacy dominates online word of mouth by putting just a tiny twist on something that you usually throw in the garbage. CVS is the largest pharmacy chain in the United States and one of the biggest health-related businesses in the country. They've got their own insurance company, they've got uh, hundreds of clinics, they've got a hell of a beef jerky selection in most locations, but let's keep it real, okay? It's just a pharmacy for, for the most part, isn't it? And they fulfill prescriptions and they sell Advil and they sell uh, makeup and they sell snacks and they sell like weird crappy toys and, and stuff like that. You know, very few people, I mean, your results may vary, but for me, very few people say, guys, guess what? I'm going to CVS, who wants to come along with me? That's not really an invitation that you typically get. A CVS run is, is just like just an errand, right? So under those circumstances, how can CVS turn its millions of customers into volunteer marketers? I mean, it's not like they can go like all Baker's dozen on you and be like, hey, you bought 30 pills of penicillin, we're gonna give you 40 instead. That's not the way that works. But what's brilliant about CVS's actual word of mouth program is that they examined the entirety of the customer experience, not just the most obvious components, and they found a way to trigger conversations in an unexpected place. The receipt. Especially in states that allow for medical expense deduction on your taxes, uh, you know, a receipt from a pharmacy is something that you want to keep, sure, you want to hold that for taxes, but, but certainly it's not something you would like tell your friends about, right? Oh, I got a receipt. Except <laughs> at CVS. You see, if you're in the CVS Extra Care Membership Club, when you buy something at the pharmacy, regardless of what, it could just be a pack of gum, regardless of how much you spend, you'll receive a receipt that is very, 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 very long. It is positively festooned with special offers for stuff that you might want to buy or possibly would never want to buy, but now you have a coupon for it. But the coupons on the CVS receipt are essentially never discussed. They're not the talk trigger because look, getting a coupon at checkout, it happens a lot. It's, it's kind of expected now in a lot of places, which kills its story power. But a receipt, as long as you are tall, that's a story you will tell and people do all the time, especially on Twitter, where the CVS long receipt meme provides essentially daily hilarity. Here are just a few of my personal favorites. Uh, here's a tweet from Colleen, uh, who says, he's very celebratory, I went to CVS today. It was my first time out of the house since I had the baby and I feel like Superwoman. I did it. I got out of the house. I've never been happier to get an absurdly long CVS receipt in my life. Now, this photo doesn't make the receipt look that long, but Twitter, you know, truncates and shrinks photos in the feed. When you expand, when you expand the photo, you see just how long it really is. That is that is something. Uh, listen, friends, if you're if you're listening to this week's episode on the podcast. Hey, take a minute and go to talktriggersshow.com to see the video and catch the visuals this week. It's, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, so next one. Here's a guy who ran out of paper. So he used his CVS receipt to wrap a gift and he did like a super good job. I think that you will agree. And perhaps the all time most successful online word of mouth about the CVS receipts is from Andrew who tweeted, one of my blinds broke in my bedroom. <laughs> So I just went to CBS. This one tweet, friends, has been liked 255,000 times and has 56,000 retweets. 
CVS Receipts even have their own parody Twitter account, which is sort of a sign of uh, success, I suppose. That, that is a lot of exposure for no cost, other than, I guess, receipt paper. CVS uh, has now been handing out these crazy long receipts for, for more than a dozen years and, and has no plans to stop. Uh, even though they say, although I'm skeptical about this, they say that they trimmed the receipt length by 25% in 2016. Even with that, they're still talkably long. You should join the Extra Care Club and buy something, anything really, uh, to see for yourself. I'll bet you, in fact, I guarantee it, some of you have already told somebody a story about a long CVS receipt, haven't you? I'll bet some of you have done that. Mention it in the comments or let me know. It is a talk trigger. It's an operational choice that creates conversations. That's all a talk trigger is. It's an operational choice that creates conversations. Next time on this very show, you will learn about the most talkable baseball team in history whose entire business model is based on word of mouth and customer experience. You're going to love it. One of my favorite stories. To never miss one of these episodes, subscribe now on YouTube. If you go to talktriggersshow.com, you can do that. Also, you can get the show on audio. Wherever you get your podcasts, just search Talk Triggers and you'll find it. If you need help coming up with your own talk trigger, go to wordofmouthconsulting.com and I can be of some assistance on that, I suspect. And hey, do me a favor, would you? If you like the show, just tell somebody about it. Online, offline, smoke signal, hostage note, whatever you want. That would be super good because after all, this is a show about word of mouth. Hope you like it. See you next time. I'm Jay Bear.